The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Avelia. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall.
Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I've seen rare garments there, very powerful, I'd imagine. 
I can't say I feel the need for that sort of thing, mind. I'd be quite content with a new pair of socks. All of the shopkeepers like me. I know they do. They always put a bit of something extra in the bag for me. I think they're drawn to my charm. Also, my parents spend a lot in Hogsmeade, but I don't think that's it. I think it's fine when you're best at something. Pick me, for example. Rebellion! Lumos. Revelia. in the middle of the lesson. I'm sure the teacher wouldn't present it in class if she thought it would disappear. I suppose if we were muggles, we'd be talking about a canary. What? I'm saying that if we were in a muggle school, they'd probably use a canary. Since when do you know what goes on at muggle schools? I read a lot about muggles, I'll have you know. I even know the recipe for pancakes. Don't you mean they know our recipe for pancakes? They use them in the mines, you know. What? Pancakes? <gasps> No, silly. Canaries. They're sensitive to the air, and if it goes bad, they die. Oh, that's horrible. Yes, you could have warned us there. Not sure I'll have a pleasant day. What, with thinking about a dead canary? If the Muggles were able to use Diracles in their minds, well, it would simply disappear. No death needed. Don't be a moon mind. That would defeat the purpose of the canary. They see the dead bird and know they need to leave. This is getting a bit grim. Do you think we could get back to pancakes? I've learned almost all of the Goblin Rebellions off by heart. You can test me. Go on, test me. You're so bad, aren't you? I've seen you in Herbology. You're a conqueror with those mandrakes. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls.
You've been to the Owl of today. Lumos. Rebellion.
last time I ever pushed an idea that I did. Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos.
Revelia. Revelio. Velio. On another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Yeah.
Oh. Oh. Nice to see you, my young friend. Avelio. Rebellion. I think there were doxy eggs as well. But surely they will come. Was it? Half a bottle of flabbergasted leech, stirred clockwise.
Pavelio. Lumos. Revelia. Revelio.
Revelio. Inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Lumos. Revelio. Travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Rebellion.
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Avelio. Do you think they're looking to brew a polyjuice potion? Oh, what if they already brew them? And Sharp's actually that hot girl from the wrong arms. In my blood, my mother says. I find if I try to look attentive at potions, overall, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Revelia. I'd like to open the shop in Hogsby. How nice to see you, my young friend. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate a oh. Now, the basic. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. 
duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a good man. If only all of my students were this adept. Complicates things. I do jump on my cure. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Rebellion. Drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. 
Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Revelio. Rebellion.
Velia. Lumos. Revelia. Rebellion. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. I adore decorating for the holiday. You can never have too many fairy lights, in my opinion. Not sure the fairy. I wish there was something I could do to stand up to the headmaster. Likely best to keep my head down till I finish up here. Rebellion of 1752! And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs>
Avelio. Where did you get your dragon hide gloves? I saw you handling that snuggle off in herbology. You know my gloves went mysteriously missing. I could have studied here when Phila de Spore was headmistress. Greatest herbologist of all time. I read 1,000 magical herbs in fungi at least a thousand times. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Ok. 
here. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio. Now, uh, think of this like excellent control there. Not to worry. Very good. That's it! Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Excellent control there. Here we go. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. This is how it's done. <laughs> Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Yes. Very good.
Oh, that was an execution. Let us see this. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Brilliant! Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. A word is <laughs> Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. my brother learned the summoning charm. It was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. 
I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> 